So right before I talk about Gia Storm, I want to make this point extremely clear that I am not a big fan of disaster movies, whether they're considered quote-unquote good or bad. But for me personally, I think that almost all disaster movies that I've seen are pretty bad, at least the ones that are 2000s and later. And I haven't seen all disaster movies, so maybe there's a good one in the mix. But even like Independence Day, I I really don't like. I think it's legitimately bad, and people will disagree because that it was it's nostalgic for them. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm not saying that as an insult to them, but it, for me, that's the way I view it. Is how I feel. It's more nostalgic for people, but it wasn't for me. And watching it as an adult, I really couldn't stand it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, disaster movies just aren't my bag. And uh, I went and saw Geostorm, thinking maybe. Maybe this will be fun. Maybe this will be bad fun. Um, and I got movie pass, so I didn't waste any money. So, um, Geostorm is mm, is uh, just like every other disaster movie I've seen. But um, even though these movies aren't well written at all, like usually these movies aren't great in anything, in in writing or characters or anything. Um, I thought that the characters in this, like I said, even though they aren't written well, um, I actually didn't mind them. I thought that they actually gave a little bit more character to these characters, and I'm not saying that as in good, I'm just saying that as in you see a little more of them and you give the basic story beats, like it's a, da it's a dad who has a daughter who wants to come back to her. Um, and a brother who is having trouble with the brother, which are our butler. And, uh, I, I, even though it's generic with all these characters, I kind of enjoyed him. It, it's weird because the movie itself is a typical disaster movie. Just, just really dumb. But the, but the idea is kind of cool, even though it's ludicrous and silly, like you would expect it to be where, um, a terrorist hacked into this thing that they made to where they control the weather and it's obviously what it is it's that Gerard Butler comes back after being fired um, immediately in the movie like he like the movie starts with them getting fired just three years later he comes right back into the into where he's at so what's the point of that but but uh it just it was exactly what I thought it would be, but I at least enjoyed the characters, and character is a very loose term in these in this genre of movies, but um, but I thought that they were enjoyable, I thought that they were fine, and I thought that for the disaster stuff they did, there were a couple action scenes that I can actually, even though they're crazy, I think that there's one in particular that I thought was kind of cool, where since they can since this terrorist guy hacker is controlling all the weather um the brother Gerard's but Gerard Butler's brother character and his wife are kidnapping the president and they're going down the highway and all of this lightning like it makes it to where there's lightning strikes literally everywhere and I thought for a second I was like okay this is kind of suspenseful a little bit it's not great but it I was like, that's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool thing to do. Um, because we usually in these disaster movies, we always see, and we see in this, we always see um, flooding of a, of a major city, which this does a lot, um, or like ice rains over, or, or like stuff like that. And I think that this has all of that. But I thought that one scene was cool, using the idea of lightning like striking everywhere around them, like hundreds and hundreds of lightning strikes like right where they're driving and of course it's ludicrous that they don't that they survive and get through it but I thought that was kind of a neat cool idea for this dumb type of movie so I'm not praising it but I'm just like that's kind of cool it just it was kind of entertaining um and like I said these these type of movies these disaster movies and I've mostly seen ones just from early 2000s to now so I've Bet there's good ones earlier in decades besides the 2000s, but um, the only ones I've really seen are these recent ones, so that's probably why I don't like disaster movies much. I think that the ones I've seen just aren't my bag. Independence Day 1 and 2, no. Um, 
anything Roland Emmerich does, no. <laughs> in terms of disaster movies, none of them I like at all. Um, maybe that's why. Maybe Roland Emmerich is just the reason. He's the reason probably why I dislike current movie or current decade disaster movies and 2000s disaster movies. And like I said, I've only seen movies like his basically, so I feel like I'm kind of being um, hypocritical in a way because even though I haven't seen other disaster movies besides Roland Emmerich, um, I haven't seen the other seen other ones, so I feel like I'm being a little hypocritical because I don't, I haven't been viewed the other ones, so I don't know. But as it stands for Geostorm, um, like I said, I thought even though nothing is good, like no no good writing or characters, I thought that they were the actors all did fine. I thought. Even though it's basic, I like the thing with Gerard Butler and his daughter. Um, and his daughter's the girl from Annabelle Creation. I think that maybe this is her second movie, maybe? I haven't seen her in anything else, but that's cool that she already got a second movie, if that's the case. Um, but Gerard Butler wants to get back to his daughter after he goes into space. And But uh, but I like that. I kind of like the father-daughter dynamic, and even though it's so generic. But I like. I thought their performances were fine. Um, of course it's got all the what-the-fuck moments in these disaster movies, or any weird things that happen, like, the daughter has an intro where she's a voiceover in the beginning of the movie, and then at the end of the movie, and you don't see her at the beginning, you see her at the end with, uh, the end of the movie, but she has this voiceover, like, she's very important in the movie, but she's barely in it, and it's odd, it's, of course it's odd, and it's... It makes sense in this type of movie that they do that. Um, and, of course, the movie has all the disaster bullshit like that we always see in these types of movies. Like like I said, major cities getting flooded or uh, cities getting broken open from the ground. Um, stuff like that. And it, it does feel so generic in that fact. So, the movie isn't good, but I thought that the performances were fine, even though the um, what they were given was not good, but I thought that they were fine, and there, and like I said, I could point out that one little thing about the lightning driving down the street, or driving down the highway with lightning strikes, like a hundred of them, like right, right in front of you and right beside you everywhere, um, even though, like I said before, it's dumb that they made it through that, but that was kind of a cool idea, um, that they used, but really, besides those couple little things, this is just a worthless disaster movie, but it's one that I enjoyed a tiny bit more than, say, Independence Day, and a lot of people are going to be like, no, Independence Day is better, but I'm, but I've, seeing Independence Day, I could not stand it, I don't know why, it's just not my thing, um, like these movies usually are, they're not my thing, at least the current ones, but, but man, it was just a movie, it was, it was nothing, it was just not great, um, I mean, you could say it's it's bad. I I could say actually I'll say it's bad with a couple tiny things to it, but really that's it. There's just nothing to it. Um, it's just it's hope I don't I kind of hope that it's it's more of a dying genre because we keep seeing these happen, but then they keep losing more and more money. Like Independence Day two, which came out last year like bombed and and that's one of the biggest um disaster movies the first one so what does that say about disaster movies and then geostorm is still here but it's only been there like a week or two and it's barely making it through so for me personally i'd rather just get rid of this kind of genre and unless you make it better just make it but it's hard to make this better because it's such a bare bones idea. Like disaster movies are usually just disaster movies. There's not much you can do with them. But yeah, Geostorm. It was what it was.